Oh, that blur. I'm not sure why, but when the mill is under load, there is an electromagnetic interference with my videos. I didn't used to have the problem, but it's gradually getting worse over time. At first, I thought it was wall vibration, so I isolated the camera on a fluid head tripod, but it didn't help. I have three Canon Vixia camcorders, and all three have the same problem when placed between the edger and the sawmill, which is, of course, one of my favorite places for two camera views. Anyway, I'm working on a remedy, and until I get the problem resolved, I hope you'll excuse the occasional blur. I'm cutting out most of the blurry sections until then. At 14 feet, this log was longer than we like to run through the edger. Even though the mill can easily saw a 20-foot log, we most commonly saw logs 8.5 to 12.5 feet long. A 14-foot board will barely go through the edger, but it's really hard to deal with. It isn't worth rearranging the shop for one log, so we adjust our routine to fit the need. Once we got a system worked out, it went pretty well. The second board was a little awkward for vertically challenged Linda, though. I positioned myself to lift the widest end of the board, about 70 pounds worth, over the high end of the roller track. <laughs> I quickly decided our son should be on the high end of the track. Now I know a bunch of observant viewers will ask, well, why not just pull the forklift over and stack the boards on it? Well, because when my body is busy, it's a happy body. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, I hate standing around, and believe me, waiting for a 14-foot long cut gets me real antsy. Besides, it made the video more entertaining in my opinion. After all, who wants to watch people standing around, right? We have a good dust collection system for the mill, but each board still has a layer of dust on top. So I like to scrape the dust off as a courtesy to the customer, and the boards stack better if they're clean.
I think I'll speed things up a little bit here for a while. I'll go back to real time later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.